When trophy mites were first described, they were described as an Asian rat mite, and nobody made the connection with honeybee colonies for almost a decade. Tropolepsis is a very small external parasitic mite of honeybees. It's somewhat similar to varroa, but with some distinct differences. Varroa mites have had a really severe impact on the U.S. beekeeping industry. If tropolepsis mites ever got to the U.S., there's huge potential for damage. The mite is potentially spreading to new areas and it's becoming of greater concern. It used to take 10 years for something to get off a bee from the east coast to the west coast. Now it takes six months. We've got the super highway. If triple A lapse arrives right now, we are really not prepared. Pollination is going to be really tough and of course honey production is going to go down. The margins for commercial beekeepers are pretty thin anyway. That's going to be a huge impact to us. But there is so much more that's at stake here. It impacts our food supply. So that's going to be a huge impact economically across the United States. Project APSM is vitally important to the research that's going on out there. Funding this workshop in Thailand to study tropa lalaps mites, which are not even in the U.S. yet, takes a sign of courage and forethought. The goal is to talk about a unified response because what the United States gets, Canada's gonna get. And if trophy were found, having the research side and the beekeeper side and then the apiary inspectors will give us the best outcome. Research is really driving knowledge gain as well as technology developments. That's where I hope some of our efforts are helping learn more about the mite, learn how we can monitor cultural and chemical controls, and hopefully we can change that knowledge gain into practice. The longer we can prepare to keep the beekeeping industry from total collapse, the better. We're hoping to have more tools in the beekeeper's toolkit if the mite actually makes it to North America.